Well, today we're at Frontier Days in Cheyenne, Wyoming. And uh, I've just been really excited about coming here and hanging out. Yeah. Because there's a lot of, of good Wild West history here. Cowboy history. You got the Old West Museum right next door to the stadium mm -hmm. where they hold uh, the, the big rodeo every year in yeah. July in Cheyenne. Very cool. Uh, yeah. Some very cool statues out here. And Leslie just pointed out that this guy looks like it is... It's built to scale. It's to scale. I mean, and I know this because <laughs> if you look at his testicles, that's that's actual bull-sized testicle. You've been up, up close to I have, a to I've a been bull to enough rodeos size. and I've Thing. walked up to the to the cages. Yeah. And because they look, put them on display after rodeos too. The testicles? <laughs> <laughs> no, the bulls. <laughs> and you can't help but notice them. So I just I happen to notice while you were filming it. The, yeah. I believe this was built to scale. The cowboy looks to be in scale. The bull <laughs> itself looks to be in scale. So we know why Leslie goes to the rodeos. <laughs> Stop. No, that's not why I go. So I guess take her word for it. Those yeah. are um, to scale. They are. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Lots more cool stuff to see. <laughs> Well, here's a uh, mechanical bull that was used by Chris LeDoux on stage during a concert because sometimes his concerts get a little rowdy. He was very hyper, running up and down, acting crazy. He would get on these mechanical bulls and ride them on stage while he's singing. So it's very cool that this one was one he actually used. And then over here is a guitar that he used here at Frontier Days, and it's signed by him and Willie Nelson. So there's Chris LeDoux. Uh, lots of history here that having to do with Chris LeDoux. So we'll, we'll share more about that here in a second. That's some bizarre music. <laughs> Sounds like they're charming snakes or something. Though. <laughs> charming snakes. This is the third largest privately owned collection of coaches. Yes. In the United States. And they're impressive. And they use them all. Yes, that's what's cool. Yeah. Is that they all get used in the parade every year. During Frontier Days, they have this parade and all these coaches come out of here and her horse drawn and pulled through the parade through Cheyenne. I can only imagine how that looks. I bet That's it's so cool. Awesome. It's cool. Back and yeah. It. It's cool just seeing them. Yeah. Um, but see them in use. And there's different different um, uses Eras. for all of these yeah. things. So there's like this fueling one. There's an ambulance. An ice one. <laughs> there's a, a hearse. A hearse. Uh, fire. Right. I mean, there's different uses for all these. Well, yeah. they were different uses. And a lot of these were used during Frontier Days during, yeah. during their era. Yeah. Like really used. Yeah. So really cool. We'll take you around and show you all of the cool coaches. That's a bizarre choice of music they have in here. <laughs> anyway. It's almost like jazz music. I get distracted. Yeah. This Swirl. here is the very first RV. Yeah, literally. Like ever. The first camper. Made for sheep herders. Yes. Moving their sheep. So when they're on the prairie. They can live inside here. Yeah. It's crazy. Horse drawn camper. Horse drawn camper. First fifth wheel. $248. $248 dollars brand new. That'd be a heck of <laughs> out, a deal, wouldn't out it? Out the door. <laughs> I gotta show you inside this thing. Yeah. Well, the inside of the museum was really cool, man. Yeah. So much cool history in there, rodeo history and just West history, old West yeah. history. Lots of wagons. Good, good stuff in there. Yeah. Um, 
a lot of it was behind glass so not very photogenic yeah unfortunately so couldn't show you everything but it's worth a visit um another cool fact if you've been following us for a while um yeah s since like last year in texas we started coming across stuff that had to do with uh charles goodnight and oliver loving mm -hmm. who are the people who the characters in lonesome dove are based off of you know yeah. um uh what's his name um robert duvall tommy lee jones and robert duvall they're two characters and they started uh raising cattle down in texas yeah and they basically have taken the same path that we've taken well, yeah well we took the same path well <laughs> yeah I guess that's true because they, they did it first. Yeah. But they, and, and it was a lot rougher for them because <laughs> they were driving cattle the whole way. But they started down in Young County, Texas. Yeah. And drove all the way up through um, New Mexico. The Raton Pass. Yeah, yeah the Raton Pass, which we, we, went, we through. went through. And then up through Trinidad, Trinidad which we went, we went through, through. Through Denver. <laughs> and up here into Cheyenne, where we're currently standing, where they loaded all their cattle onto the railheads. Yeah, 2,000 cattle heads. So to, to take 2,000 cattle from Young County, Texas to Cheyenne, Wyoming, um, That's a hike. <laughs> not just a hike, but I bet it was just brutal, man. If you well, if you watched the movie, you know it was brutal. Right, I yeah. mean, their whole story is is very interesting. Yeah. So if you haven't seen Lonesome Dove, go watch Lonesome Dove. And if you haven't seen our videos from back when we have started discovering and following along that trail, basically, <laughs> yeah. go back and watch those too, because uh, some very interesting stuff. And we got yeah. to visit their graves back in Weatherford, Texas. Yep. Uh, so a lot of Lonesome Dove history yeah, on our it's, channel. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. we, we did the same route <laughs> yeah very cool and now we're gonna try to go over and see what we can see of the arena yeah. where uh the the cowboys compete during frontier days in the daddy of them all well big thank you to the staff here at frontier days yeah who let us come in and check out the stadium mm -hmm. it's it's funny it's crazy just to be in here all by yourself because you know that uh this is the largest outdoor rodeo in the world yeah. and so on on rodeo days this place is packed and just to be standing in a place where some of the best cowboys yeah. in the world have been turned out of these shoot gates back here. And some of the greatest bucking bulls have ever come out of those shoot gates. And not just bro not just bulls, that's the that's the main attraction. Yeah. But I mean, just top-notch cowboys from, from every category of rodeo. Um, some of the really significant things that have yeah. happened here of course if you've seen the movie eight seconds uh you know about lane frost and tough Hedeman. yeah um lane frost was killed right here mm. in uh in this arena yeah he got uh he got gored after he got bucked off the bull he got gored and it broke a couple of his ribs and his ribs punctured lungs and and he he bled to death internally um but um the other significant event uh, has to do with chris ledoux yeah his son Bo Ledoux was a bronc rider also and uh when chris died uh chris died of cancer at the time Bo was hurt and couldn't ride bronx and about a year yeah. after um chris Ledoux died Bo uh was recovered and got back on mm -hmm. buck and bronx and the first time he rode after his injuries were recovered was right here frontier days so he got turned out of these out of these shoot gates too on a mean bucking bronc yeah uh he covered the bronc rode for eight seconds uh got off the bronc and reached into his vest and pulled out the ashes of his father chris will and scattered yep. them right here in the arena so that's a very, very cool, cool piece of history yeah so lots of cool stuff that's that's just a couple of the big big stories that you'll hear but um you know there's stories of of unridden bulls that were finally ridden, ridden here yeah um and you they know, talk about it in the museum too. yeah and and this i mean catastrophic injuries too to, to some cowboys out here yeah. and bullfighters yeah, which you you probably know as clowns mm -hmm. but uh but the clowns are really more than clowns they're bullfighters and they save yeah. these cowboys lives out here by mm -hmm. getting that bull or that bronc or whatever away, away from, from the cowboy so the cowboy can get away safely uh so that's a tough gig too and a lot of those guys get hurt but um yeah. just very cool history here it is. i mean you can kind of feel the presence of of the history that has happened here yeah records so broken and yeah even if you're not into into rodeo uh this is a very cool place to come and hang yeah, out it is well, today we're at the uh huh. <laughs> peacocks are excited to see us today yeah. we're at the terry bison ranch in mm -hmm. just south of cheyenne wyoming yeah i know what you're thinking we just showed buffaloes on on channel but but those were Colorado buffaloes. Yeah, these are Wyoming. These buffaloes. are Wyoming buffs. It's like apples and oranges, really. Yeah. It's a totally different thing. 
Yeah. Well, this one we're doing a train tour. We are. So yeah. So we can get a more up close personal. And the best of all, not neither one of us have to drive. Yes. So we can both take pictures, do our thing. Exactly. Not have to worry about worrying about running over prairie dogs. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. We'll let the train do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they say we'll see other animals. You will see peacocks. I think they said there's. Um, I don't know if you'll see the camels. Camels, donkeys. Uh, yeah, lots yeah. of horses because you can horse ride out here. You don't have to do yeah. train ride. Show me your hand. Oh, so nasty. <laughs> well, the train portion was very cool. Yeah. Lots of cool stuff. Bisons and prairie dogs. And I got slobber. Oh, so nasty. Mud and slobber on me. And then, mm -hmm. uh, I was, uh, <laughs> I was filming and uh, I didn't catch it, but there was a there was a baby bison that was like under the butt of a of mom a, of a mom. Yeah. And I was like, dude, no. Why baby, would you put your no. head there? And mom took a big dump right no. on his head. Oh, like half of it, ear and a little horn. It was I was so sad. He's got crap. On so him. I didn't get. I got footage of the aftermath yeah. of what he looked like with like matted crap. Oh, that is. I hope, I hope they find a water hole and he washes that off. Yeah. That's, that's just, just yeah. cool. how it goes, man. Yeah. But there's lots of other animals out here. So we're going to go take a look at some of these. I think they got ostriches and ponies I think and llamas or alpacas, um, alpacas, alpacas or something. something. Yeah. So we'll go, um, we'll go see what else they got out here. All right. This is Mabel. Mabel was born May 18th, so she's very, very new. And a little camera shy. <laughs> as soon as I turn on the camera, she froze. <laughs> this is Miracle. The Miracle was born on April 10th. So she's a little older than Mabel. And she's not paying attention to me at all. She's chowing down on some on some hay. Hey. Uh, hi, Miracle. Hello. That is Callion over there, and Callion seems a little honry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely got that. <laughs> like two and a half weeks old, and like yeah. honry. <laughs>
That is a pretty cool little place, man. It is cool. Not bad for 15 bucks. No. Train ride and all these animals out here and, and everything. And you can just roam around. Yeah, there's there's uh some animals just roaming around, like a bunch of chickens sure. and pea fowls and yeah. things like that. But uh very cool place. Yeah. Um they also offer ATV rides and horseback rides. Right. Yes. A little more pricey than yeah. the train. They even do a train lunch, a lunch train that you can take the train out yeah. and have lunch out with the bison, which is cool. It's expensive, but it would be cool. That would be very cool. Yeah. It was a little warm today, so the bison weren't moving as much as they normally probably right. would. Oh yeah. But um, now you've but seen coyotes. A handful of them came up to the train. Yeah. Well, now you've seen Colorado bison. And you've seen Wyoming bison. <laughs> yeah. And fun fact, our train driver or conductor, I guess you yeah. would call him, uh, gave us was that uh, bison and buffalo are not the same thing. Not the same. I didn't know that. Yeah, I just assumed. I guess bison's horns go straight up. Yep. And then buffaloes go in different directions. Forwards, down sometimes, mm -hmm. and all that crazy stuff. And he said that <laughs> it's funny because yeah. on the buffalo nickel, yeah. They actually minted the buffalo nickel yeah. with a bison on with it. With a bison on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if that's, you have a buffalo nickel. That's our government. <laughs> go look at it. There's not a buffalo on the buffalo nickel. <laughs> yeah, it's a bison. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> well, we didn't get to do a ton in Cheyenne, but the stuff that we did get to do was really fun. Yeah. Terry Bison Ranch mm -hmm. and that's then the whole West Museum, uh, the uh, rodeo stuff and the, yeah. the arena. And you made a ostrich boyfriend? I did. <laughs> he was like, look at me. Yeah. I want to be a boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, how you doing? That was so funny. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. He come walking over there and I was expecting him just like to, to be like looking for food or something. But yeah, like do the little ostrich swing and He was pecking. like, he yeah. liked you. Yeah. Yeah. It's he nice thought, to know I could get an ostrich. <laughs> he thought she was pretty. <laughs> <laughs> but all the other animals were very cool too. Yeah. Yeah. Very I could cool. have spent all day there. Yeah. It, it was it, awesome. It's awesome. Um, and we forgot to mention while we were on site there that they have an RV park. Yes. So you can stay there on site. Which I bet is cool because you can hear the animals probably yeah. talking at night and stuff. And you don't have to go in. There's restaurants on site. They have restaurants. So really, yeah. it's all self sustained there. If you stay there but at the RV park, you don't have to worry about anything. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And it's right outside Cheyenne, so if you do need anything, it's just run right into in town. I don't know what their prices are like, but... Yeah, I didn't research that yet, but I'm yeah. interested. And then the arena stuff was very cool Yeah. to, to me, because I, I, you know, I'm fascinated with rodeo stuff anyway, yeah, we so like rodeo. I thought it was very cool. Mm -hmm. There's some more stuff to do in Cheyenne, we just didn't really get to it. And uh, a little outside Cheyenne, yeah. but... So we'll probably have to come back at some point. Yeah. Uh, we didn't get to see the Capitol and there's some other other cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, there was a couple of days where we just wanted to chill and yeah. then went out for a bike ride. So we didn't really do a lot of video in there. We just yeah. kind of went out and enjoyed the day. Chill day. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. Uh, if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of this video. And we appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.